Hi, I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. You know what? We are all researchers. Whether we're players, we're coaches, we're parents, we all are researching how to make our game and make our, our players better. The purest definition of a researcher or scientist is someone who tests things. And then you make observations based upon your test results. For me, I'm 50 years old, and I probably started studying this game and analyzing things and testing things as early as ages five, six, seven years old. You know, sometimes we get intimidated by the, the, the world of academia and sciences and research, but you know what? When, when it comes to this, if you're still stepping into the batting cage and still examining things and testing things yourself, you're swinging the bat, you're in a batting cage, and you're making some observations, your observations are just as important as someone who is in a, a sports science lab room. So after all these years of, of researching and testing and examining, this is what I really believe is the heartbeat to hitting. It's the hitter's ability to control the starting line when this race is going to begin and control the finish line where it ends at the point of contact. I mentioned in other videos how I've learned the technique to study the hitter's face as I'm throwing batting practice to him or her. When I observe hitters who are struggling, I'm observing hitters who I've coined the term your brain is standing still. And because their brain is standing still, most of our hitters are troubled with hitters angst. I have a solution to defeat hitters angst and I'm bringing it on tour. Our players clocks are ticking. Their playing clock is ticking against them. Let's get this fixed now. So let's explain exactly what is hitter's angst. Well, hitter's angst is uncertainty at home plate. It's uneasiness. It's a hazy state on what's about to happen at home plate. It's disorganized thoughts on how the ball is approaching me. Every level from the major league level to the peanut level is challenged with hitter's angst. We fix hitter's angst by number one, organizing our thoughts at home plate in such a way where we can control the starting line. We can control the starting line by understanding that everything is predicated upon the pitcher's common denominator, not his release point. Number two, I control the finish line. I control the point of contact. You see, I learned a lot about hitter's angst by observing and watching the hitter's face, hitter's eyes, the hitter's breathing patterns, how the hitter is controlling the adrenaline. Early on, the best way I described it to hitters was, I, I could look at your face while I'm throwing batting practice and you look like deer in headlights. You're not processing the start of this event that we call hitting correctly. Plus, you're a tick of time late at the finish line. Your brain is standing still. Sports psychology won't fix this. Hitting mechanics won't fix this. Sure, you may bump into it, correcting it for a while, but the answer to really fixing this mess is defining the details of the starting line and defining the details of the finish line and mixing it all together with the techniques of timing. And oh yeah, you must think. That's right, I said it. You must think at home plate, but you learn to think about what is really important and necessary, the ball. Natural hitters already have this wiring. They may tell you that they're not thinking, but of course you're not naive enough to believe that. You already know that there is a conscious and subconscious thoughts. Believe me, natural hitters think at home plate, and their thinking is about what is necessary. It's time you learn this technique too.